Hey there everybody, in this video we're going to talk about how to use a tool that's called Linked Helper. Now Linked Helper is an amazing tool that helps to automate what looks like organic messaging, organic invitations, organic profile follows, and it does all of these things so that you can automate your marketing on LinkedIn. Now I think that you need to first, before you watch this video, understand the strategy behind LinkedIn. I don't think that it's just a uh, mass spam market where you're going to go and start messaging people and try to get sales. Um, I think that you're actually going to have to have a strategy for it. So if you haven't done so already, be sure and go back and watch the last video. I linked it in the description below. But if you're good on strategy and you understand this is going to be a really, really powerful video and I think you're going to love this strategy. It's going to help you make tons of money, make you tons of connections on LinkedIn. So LinkedIn is powerful. It's going to be great. Hey there everybody, my name is Brandon Brashears. I make daily marketing videos here on YouTube. So if you want to grow your business with digital marketing, be sure to click that subscribe button. I do everything from LinkedIn to Facebook, to Instagram, Snapchat, email marketing, PPC marketing, SEO. If it has to do with digital marketing, I cover it here on this channel. All right, so let's talk about Linked Helper. Linked Helper is a tool, it is paid, it's not free but it's a really powerful tool. It lets you basically automate all of those manual tasks that you're doing on LinkedIn. And um, so you can build your network, you can send out invitations. I'm gonna go over the main features we're gonna talk about today. Adding um, requests for profile requests. We're gonna talk about messaging profile requests, follow-up messaging, and um, also auto profile views, because I think that's a great one too. Um, and then I guess the last one too we'll cover is how to extract information for LinkedIn and um, how you can use that to grow your business. So in order to do that, we're going to jump into the computer here. I'm going to do a screen share and I'm going to walk you through Linked Helper and how to use it step by step to grow your business with digital marketing. All right, so I'm going to show you how to use Linked Helper in here. Linked Helper is an amazing tool. When you go to linkedhelper.com, and this isn't a sponsored um, post, but here's the pricing. You have $15 a month. If you pay for one month, obviously, if you pay for 12 months, it's $99. That's what I did. I felt that it was a really solid tool. So um, this is a pretty cool thing. So when you install it, it's a Chrome extension. It's right here. And um, when you open it, you have the different sections of things that Linked Helper can do. You can do profile auto visits, um, profile auto follow, collect, select, and invite second and third contacts, send messages to first contacts, message recently added contacts, do in mail to second and thirds, endorse contacts, extract first contacts data. And this is really valuable because uh, it used to be that you could export your list directly from LinkedIn, but that's not the case anymore. You can't do that. So that's great. You have company extractor. You have a signature that adds automatically to created message. You have a group inviter, so you can people invite people to join in groups. I haven't found that groups have been super helpful and engaging in general. Um, I have a Facebook group. I have a LinkedIn group. Facebook way kills the, the LinkedIn as far as engagement and usage. Um, invite canceler. This is good because once you start inviting people, you need to cancel invites if you reach a certain limit. Um, you have backup or restore linked data helper, um, your account licensors, general settings, and things like that. So I'm going to show you really quick here. I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to say um, veterinary owner. And so I'm going to start searching for practice owners, okay? So we have all of these first connections. Um, you want to first do the search here inside of LinkedIn, and then you want to make it second and thirds apply and then we're going to do location only the united states you can really go as in-depth as you want to we're going to apply and so you can see all of these invites that i've already sent here um and so in order to get started the first thing that you're going to want to do is go and start collecting. Now you can name these different lists. So I'm going to add um, second connection practice owners US and that's as segmented as I can possibly be. I'm going to start collecting contacts for invitation. Now what it's going to do here is it's going to go through and it's going to start scraping this list and find people to invite. So I've already gone through and created this list 
and have actively used this to um, send out invitations. So I'm going to let it run for just a few minutes here. Okay, so you can see here that we have the collect the connections are being collected. It shows you how many have already been collected. And you can only do 100 per day um, is what it cuts you off at. And it does that so that it doesn't appear to be spam. And um, I think that that's an important note to make. You need to make sure that you're not looking like you're spamming people. Um, otherwise, I have in the past, and this used to happen a lot more, but it's not happening as much, is that... Um, People used to say, I don't know this person, and say this isn't a legitimate request. So people used to do the same thing on Facebook. The The climate in LinkedIn has changed a lot so that people are actively trying to connect. It used to be, hey, I only want to add people that I actually know. I don't know you. I don't want to uh, be friends with you type of a thing. But now if everybody's like, it's networking, we're going to network. So that's something to, to note for sure. So... Once you've collected, we're going to hit the stop collecting emails. And so each one of these panes and each one of these campaigns, it goes like this. You have the target who you're doing, you have the message, then you have the actual action. So we have the next item here is the message. I'll share with you what I wrote here. And you can add all of these um, merge fields here if you want to. It says, hi, first name. I'd love to connect. I help veterinary practice owners and managers grow their practices with digital marketing. I have a free podcast that has tons of free info and resources you can listen to at and then my podcast. Let me know if I can help. And then Brandon. So this actually does pretty good because it's not threatening. I'm identifying who I help and I'm giving them a free resource that they can use to then go and grow their business. So that's kind of cool. Um, if you are trying to sell something in this message, it's going to go over poorly and you're not going to actually create connections. So make, make note that you need to be offering value instead of just showing up and trying to sell things and saying, Hey, I do this, buy it from me. It's not actually a, a good tactic to take. So once you've written it, um, they suggest that you go 286 or sorry, 295 characters or less. You hit close and then all you do is you hit the invite. And you hit start inviting. So the very next thing is it just goes through and it'll automatically invite people. You can do the same thing with collecting. It has to be open into a browser tab that isn't closed in order for it to work though. If you close the browser tab, it's not going to work. So you just let it run and it automatically sends your message and invites. So we're gonna head back into the office and I will finish up here and review everything. All right, so I hope that you enjoyed that video. LinkedIn is one of the best tools. If you're doing business to business marketing, you have to be doing LinkedIn because it is just so powerful. It's only growing in popularity. And so I, I just totally think that having a solid LinkedIn strategy will help you to grow in 2019 and beyond. If you need any help with this, comment below. Happy to help. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and have a great day.